Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here, coming at you with uh, another video. Uh, today I was at the local card shop and I picked up my 67 Tops uh, Tom Seaver rookie card that he was holding for me. Uh, I'd been waiting for our uh, back pay from the post office to come in and that did come in last week. And today was the first day I had off. And I was able to go up to the card shop and buy it. So that completes my 1967 Tops base set. Um, this is also my 50, 50, 58th. Can't talk. I'm so excited. 58, 58th uh, Tops complete set. And this is my third complete set from the uh, 60s decade. I get the 60s set, uh, the, now the 67 and the 68. And I am close on a couple others. So, But uh, I'm just thrilled to add this to my collection. Uh, just a great card. And I got it for a really, really good price. I... There was nowhere on eBay could I beat the price I got for this. Um, if I had to guess, this would probably grade at least, I'm being conservative here, at least a three, I would think. And I don't care because I'm not getting it graded. But anyways, just to give you an idea of the condition, if you can't see it here, um, Fits right in with the rest of the cards in the set. Um, actually, I got a lot of the cards from this particular collection that he had bought. So, pretty happy about that. So, uh, let me pull the binder up here. Yes. So... Sorry about that. My three-year-old decided to come in and pay me a little visit. So, let me pull this off of here. It might be easier just to hold that. Like that. Let's give you an overall idea of the set I built. I would say VG to X. I do need to upgrade a few cards. Um, not in a big hurry though, because I've got other uh, other things I want to finish up before I uh, dive into uh, upgrading. That's a card I definitely want to upgrade. There, it's, you can see it's visibly beat up. I think that's pretty much the worst out of it. There's a couple cards that have some writing on the back. An X. I'm guessing somebody was marking their collection. Which are things uh, the collectors did back then. So I might just leave it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I'm not in a big hurry to upgrade anything. I'm just really happy. To get this set done because it is a tough set. Uh, the mantle's expensive. The Seaver's expensive. You got the Rod Carew rookie. Almost all the high numbers uh, are expensive. Uh, there's a Brooks Robinson in the high series. The Carew's in the high series. The Tom Seaver's in the high series. Uh, there's a couple other guys. That for whatever reason are really expensive that are in the high series. Uh, I believe a lot of them are short pr printed. I don't know if they're all short printed, but uh, there's the, from what I understand, they're they're more scarce than some of the other uh, high series sets. So there's the mantle. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, I've been working on this set for uh, 
uh, maybe the past seven or eight years. It's all kind of blending together now when you, let's just say I jumped back into collecting in 2011 and uh, at that time I might have had 10 of those 58 sets complete. And we're talking mostly in the uh, the 80s. I probably had all the 80s. I would, yeah, I had all the 80s complete and maybe one of the, maybe 79 uh, baseball complete. But everything else I have built since 2011, along with my uh, football sets and my basketball sets and my hockey sets. So I've... Uh, when I got back into collecting, I really uh, <laughs> hit it pretty hard these past 10 years. And I've shown a lot of these uh, Hall of Famers on other videos. If you want to go back, you can get a you know, better look at a lot of them. There's another card that definitely needs to be replaced. Just fold it in half couple off center ones but uh we just skip to the uh the high series I wanna say let's start yeah right here starts at number five 534 with Hank Bauer. Should be right there. Manager card. He's got Joe Necro rookie. Got Norm Cash. Tim Grant's in there. And then, like I said, there's just some cards that are. They're not Hall of Famers, but they're just really expensive. Like this Bellinger rookie is really one of the more expensive ones. Um, Jim Bunning is in this high series. And there's a couple uh, team cards that are in there, and they're pretty expensive too. There's my uh, Carew rookie. And like I said, these all kind of fall into the same vg to uh x condition the calavito is really really pricey that's where the uh receiver goes i think right yeah make sure i didn't jump the gun here and miss a card <laughs> um Yeah, the Brooks Robinson is really, really expensive. I think my wife got that for me. Christmas or something, I think. And this Red Sox team card is really expensive. And so is Mike Shannon. Oh, let's just say these last six are really expensive too. So, But uh, yeah, really happy to uh, complete this set. Uh my advice to anybody thinking about starting it, uh, start with the expensive ones first because they're not getting any cheaper. <laughs> if you can get a Tom Seaver knocked out of the way, I would do that because that, that's the most expensive card in the set, without a doubt. So uh, That's all I got for today. Oh, I did get a couple, uh, not this matters, but I finished my 83 Dawn reset today too with... Uh, the Winfield and the fingers added, so it's another set knocked off the list. And I got a couple 89 Bowman cards in, you know, not as exciting as, uh, you know, finishing off this set, but anyways, I'm babbling now, so have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.